Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com, and on this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a clean but powerful bass tone for electropop in Reason 4. I'll use Thor and a few M class units to create this effect. So, let's take a listen to the music we've got. Nice simple little loop, and we'll be making this bass effect here. Okay, so let's start. To start with, right click and create a combinator if you haven't already. I've got mine here. Name it base and I'll just initialize the patch. So we're both starting from the same clean slate. Start with an instance of Thor. Right click create Thor Polysonic Synthesizer and click show programmer to open it up then initialize that as well. Set the default analog oscillator to a sine wave and take it down two octaves. A sine wave is an intrinsically clean and powerful waveform perfect for basses. So now I'll just play the loop and you can hear how it changes as I alter some of these parameters. Take the low pass frequency down to about 200 hertz around there and that'll just completely remove that high end keeping it nice and clean and bassy. Also in the filter there's something pretty useful I learned. Since the waves are so wide using the filter envelope can cause pops at the start of these notes. You might be able to hear that so turn the env value right down and the envelope doesn't affect the filter at all and it removes those pops. Also to prevent pops, here in the amp envelope make sure the attack is up a little bit, if so if you take it to around maybe 20-30 milliseconds, something like that. This means it takes 30 milliseconds to fade in, which you don't really notice but it stops those pops. While you're in the amp envelope, turn the sustain up to full so the bass doesn't lose any volume over time. So that's the effect made. Now we want to bring the overall level of the effect up. So right click and create an M-class compressor. And now I'll play the effect and you can hear how this changes it. Turn the input gain right up to about 10 decibels. The threshold to minus 15. And the ratio to infinity to 1. This just means that after the attack of 50 milliseconds, the input will be taken down in volume to the threshold, which is minus 14.5 decibels in this case, by a ratio of infinity to 1, so it'll be completely knocked down to that level. This will bring that tail end of the effect up nicely, but to retain a bit of punch, there's that 50 milliseconds of attack to hit the subwoofer with. But that said, we don't want that clipping, so just to be on the safe side, right click and create an M-Class Maximizer, and hit the 4 milliseconds look ahead. This simply stops anything going over the 0 decibel reference point, so nothing will clip, but as much punchiness as is possible will be maintained. So let's take a listen to that in the mix. Sweet! And there you have it! A simple powerful bass line cleaner than Barry Scott's kitchen tiles. Be sure to check out all the other tutorials on how to make this electro pop song. See you next time! If you found this tutorial useful, Help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!